The new season of Marvel Snap is here and with it, a brand new game mechanic, Activate. Activate works a little bit like on reveal, but you get to choose when to activate it. You can only activate a card once after the card has revealed. So if you play a card on turn one, you'll be able to activate it from turn two onwards. To activate a card, simply click and hold it until the activate animation happens. And you can also undo activation by clicking and holding the card again or by pressing undo all actions. Symbiote Spider-Man is the perfect example of an activate card. He is like a targeted Hulkbuster plus Odin in one, except you can play him on board and not activate him until you feel like it. The order of play really matters with activation cards, so if you want Symbiote Spider-Man to merge with an on-reveal card and trigger the on-reveal ability again, you have to do the following. Play Symbiote Spider-Man and have him reveal, that is, for him to be face up. Next turn or any other subsequent turn, play the on-reveal card and then activate Symbiote Spider-Man. If you activate Symbiote Spider-Man before you play your on-reveal card, he will just merge with the lowest revealed card at that location instead, and if the location is empty, activating him will do nothing. You don't have to merge with another card on the same turn you play it, it's okay to wait until later, for example, if you're trying to dodge Chan Chi. There are so many different possibilities with Symbiote Spider-Man, but I think the best cards he can merge with are either powerful on-reveal cards or cards that can grow exponentially in power, like Human Torch, Phoenix Force, Nimrod, or Black Panther. Deadpool could also work, but you usually won't be able to activate Symbiote Spider-Man until turn 5, and I think that's a bit too late for Deadpool. I guess the same could be said about Human Torch. For the past two nights, I've been dreaming about playing this Galactus deck with Symbiote Spider-Man, which should get even better once Arania comes out. I'm not even joking, I've been playing this deck in my sleep with really good results, so let's hope my dreams come true. With Symbiote Spider-Man, we can make an 11 power Galactus, which is even bigger than Shuring Galactus. I fully expect there to be a lot of junk decks on ladder, and that's why I added Killmonger to the deck. We also have Blink to help us get rid of that pesky Electro, and maybe get Galactus or another big card out early. With Silver Saber coming out today, I'm also expecting a lot of bounce decks, that's why we also have Sandman in our deck. Just the threat of Galactus will make people play in a certain way, and we can trick them with Doctor Doom and Odin instead. In fact, we could play Symbiote Spider-Man, play Doctor Doom, and on last turn we could activate Symbiote Spider-Man on Doom and then play Odin to get even more Doom bots. And of course, if we manage to pull off a big Galactus on turn 5, we need our trusty alive to stop any funny shenanigans from our opponent. Oh... Let's try... I don't even think they will have anything big enough to beat me here. They need to put 11 power down, like they don't have 11 power, unless they have like a random Hobgoblin. Ooh, we're doing it! We're doing it! It's working! <laughs> and then we're just alive. We did it! Against the bot. <laughs> Let's go. Goodbye. It works! The combo works! Now, to do it against an actual human being. By Doom. That means we can do this to them. They're playing a zoo deck, I'm guessing. But Wakanda is really good for them as well. Electro? Oh damn, imagine if that was Ebony Moor. Instant win. Could activate it again. <laughs> now we're Blinky. It's time to Blinky. Get Sandman or Elioth. Wait, can they actually beat our Galactus? It's 11 power. Should we give it a try? <laughs> they never win. 11 power. They could have um, 
uh, Mockingbird. Did I do it correctly? Order. Galactus first, then this. Let's go. <laughs> we could also have Shang-Chi. What if they play everything on the right, man? <gasps> Let's go! Get wrecked! Please get wrecked. Please, please get wrecked! What mean? What can they? When can that? That can be nothing. Oh look, teeny tiny! <laughs> we did it! We did it against an actual human. Okay, let's make it happen again. Are drops working for us? No, I don't think they're working for anyone. And you know what's funny? Oh. Oof. But but now what? Oh my god. Do we actually want to destroy it? Because if I destroy it, I can't blink it. So I don't think I want to destroy it. I want to I want to blink. I could uh, blink right, and then I could Galactus still if needed. Doom? Hmm. That's not bad. I could actually Galactus next turn. But they, they have so much power with their stupid ass swarms. I could also Odin. So they can only play one card? That's probably better actually. Shit. Are ye worthy? They're gonna expect Galactus, so they're gonna play it on the right. Okay. Never mind. Nice free swarms you have there. Ooh. Pick wait. Oh. Just need to draw my Galactus. So there's only one place where I can play my stuff. Nice locations for them. Please, can I draw something useful? Am I blinking? Oh wait, I could blink uh, this into Hobgoblin or Doom. Doom would be really nice. I mean, what else can I do though? Can't do anything. I could play Sandman, but that kind of sucks ass. It's gonna be Galactus. Or Doom. Or Hobgoblin. Not Galactus, please. Oh, nice. Is this a Silver Surfer deck? I kind of think it is. I don't think Doom is going to be enough. Because they probably have like broods and stuff, right? Maybe they just have a bunch of rocks. Oh, They're just trying to win the tiebreaker. It was enough! Let's go. I probably should have restarted my PC before starting stream. Lowest power? No, it's lowest cost. 
Oh, Altar of Death is interesting. Oh no. This just in. All right. We do have our killmonger. I wonder what they got from me. I don't think I'm dooming. I bet they got doom. Hmm, probably. That's fine. They can have my doom. Freaky target, thank you so much for 11 months. Thank you, thank you. Ooh, never seen that card before. They got Kyera. They probably got my Killmonger. Could also do this and blink. Hope we get something good in the middle. Could get Odin. Ooh, that's pretty juicy. But how do we win here? That Kyera kind of screwed me, right? They have no ways of buffing these cards anymore. Um, so I just need to win the right side. I think this just wins, right? Pretty sure this just wins. Or can I even be bigger? Uh, Drill, thank you so much for Prime. Marvel Boy. Marvel Boy is gonna die in Altar of Death. 20. I think we always win here. <laughs> nice Kyera. It could be another bot. Yep. You think Symbiote Spider-Man is a good is a good card? I think so. Ooh. I'm gonna put the wave on the left and put the Spider-Man on the right. Or could do this. And then uh Galactus on the left, maybe? Let's try. Okay, never mind. I think I just hope Goblin on the right, to be honest. I could also Doom, but the Doom here is kind of tricky. Goblin on the right. Goblin on the right means we're not playing Symbiote, Spider-Man. I mean, I could do it and get two Dooms, maybe. Or I could do this and I could try to Galactus next turn. <laughs> okay, wait, this might be okay, actually. All right, let's, let's give it a try. All right, let's give it a try. Okay, so the only... The, okay, we always win here. <laughs> <laughs> There's literally nothing they can do. <laughs> Don't move wave? How am I gonna pace a Galactus with, with wave there? Dude! Don't move wave. Come on. Let's go. Did I activate? Okay, activated. Let's go. <laughs> nice Heimdall. <laughs> Easy clap. Victory. If they move the Hobgoblin to the left and play the Vulture on the right, could we have done it? I think... Mm. But then they always lose left, right? So I don't know. Overall, Symbiote Spider-Man is such a fun card. I'm really enjoying the new mechanic and I can't wait to see all the crazy decks the community comes up with in the next few days. 
This card has so much potential that I won't be surprised that it actually managed to break the game in some way or another. In fact, this is the first time we're getting a brand new mechanic ever since Marvel Snap came out, so something is bound to break here. I'll be making a video on Silver Sable later tonight, so stay tuned. And if you're an early bird, I'm probably still streaming Marvel Snap on Twitch for this month's Twitch drops, so come and say hello and get some free in-game stuff. As always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you next time. Bye!